Hello and welcome back to Cetra the Imperishable. Well, we're now on turn 9. And um, let's cancel these two. We need to destroy this army. Um, this should be an easy auto resolve, but uh, yeah, good. Decisive victory. So. I think we go for treasury here. And then the faction is totally destroyed. And we get another armor. Let's go back here. And uh, recruit two skeleton warriors. Finish the arrows skill. This guy has got his first thing. Cannot be charred, generated. Salt garrison. Let's go for um, some combat skills to begin with. So we... I, I would like some more... It's 1500. Or extra garrison. I don't really need the garrison right now really don't need the garrison right now. Let's just end the turn here. Good. We need to build a mausoleum. Can also sign a non-aggression pact with Numas. Land of the dead. Welcome to my kingdom. Offer proper tribute. Never. What about a trade agreement? Stop this. Oh, okay. So let's go over to the other territory here. We um, we're gonna have a rebellion here very soon, and um, I definitely want to to farm that for experience. So, another guy is ready for duty. Let's see, let's see. Raiding. So, let's go here first. I want to be close to where the rebellion should spawn. We're still gonna save some money. Let's see here, Numas. Welcome to my realm. I have had eternity to gather my resources. Trade agreement. What you need, you define me. If I offer you a payment, stop this. Okay. You're not interested. What about? I hunt. These guys. To stand before me and ask proves you are no craven. But cowards often I disobey. Our relations are improving with them. Is it hot? Bow, your king enters. So 
So there should be a rebellion here very, very soon. What about up here? Is that going to be a thing too? No? Maybe? Maybe, possibly. Let's go raid. Yeah, our um, our thing here is not very good. But uh, let's build up our garrison. Why is this? It's just a. It's just the way it is. Unfortunately. What happened there, dude? You were raiding. Is that not gonna be a thing now? Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, did we just lose one turn because of that? Are you serious? It's a good canopy jars. Still raiding. Please spawn the rebellion. The Nehekara warriors are quite good. I want to replace these two as well. Imminent Rebellion. Because apparently I'm stupid. So there's going to be another five turns until there's going to be a Rebellion up there. So that's going to be a thing. Okay. So our research rate... ...is not very good now. And you will go... ...definitely some weapon strength for you. This should be easy. We can get some... Some extra things here. Let's go route marcher now. And we'll go into um, this. I will research this. Because now we can recruit another lord. Campaign movement range is not bad. But this one, I want this Wakaf of the First Dynasty. Then our research rate is really terrible right now. Does it matter if I march or not? No, it doesn't. Except I don't replenish there because I missed them there, so... Thing there. 
whatever. So our second army is incoming now. Which will be very good for me. So, let's see here, Wakaf of the First Dynasty. Let's recruit him. We'll start with this. And then we'll get the 10% campaign movement range. Wow, ammunition 15% for chariot units. Wow. Let's see here, I think there's some um, Skaven here. No. So we colonize that. That's not bad. Uh, we spend 800 for that, and then we need to spend another 500 for that. Good. Very interesting. This is... Lord of Bretonia. Bretonian Kingdoms. Um, I should probably get rid of those. Then we can get two skeleton archer chariots. And then... We merge these. We can also get two Nehekara warriors. Then this army will be really good. We'll be set with this army. That's gonna take two turns. It's going to be very interesting to see how good the chariot archers are. Fortunately, that's deteriorating. This is improving. It's not Black Tower of a Con. It's this guy. It's either this guy, we can have war with this guy, or this. These guys are weaker, so we should probably probably you cannot negotiate with this faction. Submit to your king. Not sure what that is. Of the dead. Lord something of that we don't know about. There's something there we don't know. Tomb king of okay, but um, whatever. Let's go. I have to say that the the way their army mechanics work it's very easy to field additional armies on legendary compared to other races we'll see if this uh, is something that's going to be um, I want to research some of these things here.
And we also want to globally recruit that. And some of this maybe. And then we should fill that up with skeleton warriors, right? So this guy will be on... Um, Rebellion crushing duty for now. Address me as your highness. Welcome to my realm. I have had eternity to gather. Never. I definitely want a non aggression pact with you. You dare? Man sleep wanes and more sleep waxes. Of course, I was expecting you. Can I? Small gift, 2,000. Okay, I thought that could be smaller, but apparently that's not a thing anymore. Black Tower of Arcan. Seems like that's not a very big garrison. Let's just jump ahead until we can, uh, can actually move. We'll see if there is going to be a rebellion over here. So far it doesn't seem very likely. So, the crown, okay, so we need to construct this, well, that's, that's, that is a little bit annoying. My territory is all the way over here, though. So I get rid of that screen. I mean, the growth. I really need the growth. But I also really need the money now. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna be interesting to see how these armies look later in the game, when we have more of the monsters and stuff. Marvel at my pyramid! Know that you will never achieve such majesty! Did you just declare war on me? You want a non-aggression pact? Sure. I will accept that for now. Because I don't want to fight you right now. See here. Men whose flesh still crowds their bones with hearts that continue to beat have found have been found wandering the land, throwing themselves upon our mercy. They beg for their lives and the freedom to return to their faraway homes. What should we do? So, I think we'll get the diplomatic bonus here. This one will have to do. Because, maybe. My will, fellow Crypt Sovereign. 
I believe my pyramid never. Apparently not. Stop this. Maybe that doesn't take an effect until next turn along. Before we go to war with them, I am very interested here. I will be done. We are quite strong so far. If they don't have any army there, and they are... They're not allied with anyone. But they're at war with stuff. So it shouldn't be that difficult to take their... The Black Tower of Arkhan. It should really not be that difficult. Not sure what faction that is, though. The Scorpion. So we have runic inscriptions now. Um, let's go with uh, with that. Anyways. That is always the same, okay? Interesting. So we'll declare war on these guys. Because nothing's gonna happen if we do. They don't have anything. So we can just march in here. We are, however, not going to auto-resolve this. This ranger standard is so useless. Defeat is impossible. In this case, I have to agree with you. Defeat is really impossible. Really, really impossible. So we'll see here about these chariot archers. Wow, their range is incredible. Let's start deployment. Just do this. Then can do this. Eternally loyal. Want to see how effective these chariots are? Even though they fire quite heavily on these war sphinx, it. I mean, it lost almost a thousand health. It's not that bad. They take a lot of damage, these guys. Eh, I think we'll back off with these. We'll just back off with those for now. 
These guys will guard mod on the skirmish. Or not skirmish, sorry. <clears throat> and there we go. The gate is now open. And I have to say, I don't think these spearmen will be able to do much. Is that everything that they have, really? I think these chariots will be more useful in open battles. My way. My way. That was a little bit too low range. But doesn't matter. Nehekara Horsemen. Well, they look kind of badass. Maybe we should be careful around those. Oh, wait. Maybe not really. Could you please try and break through here, guys? They have. Wow, they have 41 ammunition? What? Well, we have a new unit of skeletal spearmen who are the one to die. Wow. This guy does not mess around. He just killed 30 of these guys immediately. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Sphinx is. Um, the Sphinx is so overpowered, though. Please get through. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> oh, the Sphinx just destroys that unit. Granted, the uh, Skeleton Spearmen are Tier 1 units. But still, that was quick. That was really, really quick. The chariots, though. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about those yet. We need to destroy that thing on the wall now. Okay, so you guys, please go up here again. Wow, they're destroying our chariot. I think that's gonna die, possibly. One unit, yeah, there we go. Unit has been wiped out. That's unfortunate. That's my. That's just my bad. So let's test these guys out. Send two of them up here. Against. Um, it's the same kind of unit. But this guy is a. Um, special. So 
So our unit should really not have any chance here. Wow. Yeah, we need some help here. They're failing that very quickly. The skeleton archers up there, they're doing very well. Okay. Please let's not let them kill any of my good archers. That would be very annoying. Yeah, this should be no problem. And... How's it going? Okay, looks like they're fine. Looks like they are fine. Do as I say. Oh, okay, so that should be disintegrating now. Let me just move up there. Honestly, we should just move these guys out of the way so the spearmen can handle them. So these are large, right? Yes, they are. Ushabti, I'm not very impressed with the performance of these so far. And it's not that... It's not that big of a deal. So, decisive victory. Even though I totally lost one of my chariots, which sucked, really, really did, but um, I mean, what can I do? That was my bad. 100% my bad. Can wait three turns here for this guy. Or we don't. See here, public order, income from raiding, casualty replenishment rate, or canopy jars. We're gonna go casualty replenishment rate. That's not even... There's nothing to discuss there. My will be done. So this army will be done next turn. What? I'll have you speak now. Can you please Pray want to God trade with me? It's very annoying. Attend your king, slave. You come These guys. One that has reigned for stop this. Okay, they are not very friendly. To your king. This guy. Who is that guy? June Kingdoms. Okay, June Kingdoms is all the way down there. The Empire. That's totally fine, though. That is totally fine. I want to grab the pools of despair. I really want to grab that. But they're at war with those as well. I'm not sure I, I will be able to. We'll see. June Kingdoms also want to pull the spare, I think. I am Cetra. You should bow before greatness. Sure.
Sure. I can accept a non-aggression pact with you. I don't think I will accept a non-aggression pact with you, though. Don't think we can grab the pulls of despair. Don't think that's gonna be a thing. Settlement upgrade available. I need more money, don't I? Money is a real problem. But there will be a rebellion over here, this turn. And then, soon after that, there will be a rebellion down here. Hopefully that's gonna earn us some money. This army is not very powerful, but... Um, should be able to deal with some rebellions, right? Anyway, this is gonna be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.